Now, what are we doing here? A long time ago, and what we think is a long time ago, because time for us really doesn't doesn't really exist. We decided that hey, we exist in unity. Hey, that's great. Uh, you know, all is as it should be. Yeah, everything's working great. Uh, you know, and nothing's happening. So we decided to hey, let's get something happening. So. From the primary unity, something was split off. And it was different from unity. It everything wasn't just one. It was split into all of these different conscious facets that could intermingle, play off of one another. Which is nice. Because technically what's going on here is there's these two components left and right one side creates the illusion of a universe, a physical universe. The other side plays in that universe. Now, the player doesn't have the capacity to control the game that the other half is creating for them for good reason. It's for the protection of the whole. However, it's a pretty good illusion. It's pretty believable. There's real pain. You don't like it. So it's very useful to actually demonstrate principles of real law and affirm those principles such that we can get a pretty good idea of what it is that makes sense and what it is that, yeah, you know, yeah, okay, this hurts, but, you know, hey, uh, you know, we have to figure out ways of uh, keeping ourselves from being whole, so wholly confused that we can't get back. So we're in this protected sort of kindergarten or gymnasium. And this was created on purpose. So technically, the Earth itself was a construct. If you don't believe it's a construct, uh, you, you have to look at uh, certain aspects of sacred, sacred geometry. You have to look at certain things that the Egyptians have done. Uh, Pythagoras, a whole host of people have built on these elements and, 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 and truly know, probably like most people, uh, don't know that uh, there's no accidents here. Um, this is a very specific construct. It was built with very specific geometric rules. Um, and uh, if you're willing, you can start seeing those rules and find out that there's no accident that the moon just happens to fit almost perfectly over the sun and that there are very specific relationships to the size of the sun its circumference its diameter um, the uh, uh, the size of the earth the relationship of the earth and the moon the relationship and placement of you know uh, you know uh, different uh, uh, celestial bodies and you'll find out that wait a minute hey there's no accidents here um, however, before you can get to that place, uh, you have to want to go there. And if you're afraid of going there, then you're not going to force this on yourself. So you stay in the nightmare until you're ready to overcome your fear and start looking at things in a responsible and constructive way. So what occurred was this. The Earth was created to provide the means of experiencing this. A device needed to be created, and we call this device man. It is a specific crystalline structure that sound acts on that creates a reality around it. Now, it's not a matter of your left brain and what I'll call ego, the thing that you see in the mirror, controlling the reality. That's done by the game controller. Okay, the one creating the green. Okay, ego and the thing listening to me right now is the player, the actor, and I don't have any more control over this uh, this experience than you do. So while you're listening, understand that you that this body, our bodies, were specifically constructed in order to explore this brand new way of existence. 
Okay. Now there, are those that came here knew full well what they were doing. There were consequences for what they were doing. They were going to be real consequences. It was going to be uncomfortable. However, to provide a measure of safety for all of those on the outside who are watching what's playing out here on Earth, there had to be a quarantine such that the experiment didn't escape and, and perhaps cause damage to, uh, to the rest of creation. So we're under what's called a, a quarantine. Now how we were quarantined um, was pretty interesting. Uh, from what I can determine, uh, the impression of time was stretched out. Okay, And what that did was it didn't actually uh, prevent causes and consequences from occurring. Okay. Uh, natural law still plays out. However, the causes and consequences have been stretched out so far that there is a, a considerable delay. However, the uh, the consequences of of coming and 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 building the earth, uh, constructing uh, these these bodies out of indigenous life forms that existed here at the time. And I do mean construct. Uh, if, if you ask a uh, any person that studied genetics to any great extent, you know, ask them uh, why uh, human DNA is so drastically different from nearly, well, actually, from every single organism on the planet. Um, you know, it, 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 you'll probably not get an answer. They'll just say that, oh, well, it's, that's just the way it is. Uh, you know, that's how we evolve. Uh, you know, uh, however, most of our DNA uh, is considered junk DNA. Uh, that's not the truth. Our DNA is not junk. It's just that specific elements of our DNA have been turned off until we can go through and, and get a little comfortable with this duality thing. Uh, man then uh, originally um, it existed very close to unity. Uh, it had a persistent connection to itself, uh, the thing uh, managing the game. Um, it was a nice, comfortable, safe place to be. Uh, nothing was happening. So little by little what was happening is we started moving away from this right brain unity paradigm and slowly started moving into a left brain duality paradigm. Very evenly, very slowly, uh, such that we could, you know, adjust ourselves to it. Um, and and where we exist right now is is we've spent considerable time in duality. Uh, we've explored a lot of elements of duality, and that's coming to a close uh, because uh, we'll be, we're able to. We've arrived at a, a, a specific uh, amount of certainty, and. Uh, a, most of what needed to be explored has been explored. So we're ready for the next step. And the next step is this. Right now, as, as I understand it, uh, only 22 cordons of our DNA are actually active. Um, and I believe it's 64 that are going to be turned on. Um, and how that's going to be turned on um, is going to be pretty pretty interesting, and it's it's already occurring. 